You know, last show, the franchise players had to interfere in a match with two up-and-coming stars here in Sooner. And then had to beat them down after after the match was over that they that the franchise players won. Guys, we know what it's like to get beat down day in and day out when we first started. Y'all ain't going to have the opportunity tonight. Tonight, we're going to show you what it's like to face a veteran team. It ain't going to be easy. We show you why we are who we are and why we take care of business the way we do. And we are underway with the Sooner World Class Wrestling Tag Team Championship match between the Syndicate and the franchise players. So like I said, a little handshake between the Sanders wasn't really a tag in or tag out. Technically, they'd have been... I think they clapped each other's hands three times, so I think... I actually think Scott Sanders would be in the match. Right. The collar and elbow tie-up kind of broke up a little bit. I guess you can say neither one of these teams lack in confidence. Apparently the fans do not like LJ. He's not even in the match, poor guy. The fans tell him he sucks, he's not even in the match. Let's back him up against the rope. One. Got to count of two. Clean break. Clean break by Les Main to Sean Sanders. Les just tells uh, <laughs> Rick Russo he's got this. Like I said, neither one of these teams lack in confidence. And then Sean returns the favor. Nice clean break. Kind of surprising if you ask me. I mean, I, I didn't think that'd be there being clean breaks in this match. I mean, tag team titles are on the line. So. Considering the two that are in this match. Nice side headlock by Les Main onto Sean. Works him into the corner. Shoves him off. Shoulder block is still mate. He tells Les Main to go again. Let's goes in. And again, a stalemate. Now he says for Sean to go. And that's again it's a stalemate. Either man has an upper hand in this. Oh! And he takes Sean down. A big shoulder block. Huge shoulder block. And Les, Ma Les May now on fire. He's got him in a nice arm wrench. Oh, driving the elbow to the shoulder. Working on that left shoulder of Sean Sanders. Oh, nice move on the elbow. We got a tag. Here comes the gun show. Gun show, uh, he's not t bone right now. Climbing up to the middle rope. Oh, works right on the elbow. Rick Russo, yeah, gonna continue working on that shoulder. Now, last time I had this match, Rick Russo managed managed to uh, single-handedly defeat these two. Big accomplishment by Rick Russo. But of course, he had plenty of outside help. I mean, that's that's pretty much so. 
guaranteed when, when you're in the franchise players. Okay, we got a tag. Looks like they tried to do a blind tag behind the ref that wouldn't have counted. And, oh, big boot right to the side of the head. And Rick Russo just rakes across the head. We got one, two. Two counts, says Brock Landers. 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 I didn't say Landers. That. That's good. You've been practicing, haven't you? Yeah. Nice nightmare. Oh, nice diving forearm to the back of Sean Sanders. Scott has yet to be tagged into this match. Nice leg drop. He's, he's got to get a tag to Scott Sanders. We got it. Bad. One, two. Oh, and another near fall. He badly needs to get into the corner of his brother, Scott Sanders, to tag him in. Not looking good so far for Sean Sanders. Not looking good at all. As we have the Sooner Tag Team Championship right championship belt right in front of us. Franchise players are looking really impressive in this match so far. Absolutely. All franchise players. the back by Russo and again referee not making him break it Russo's gonna go to the top he tries to draw Scott now Scott making the veteran move not climbing into the ring Rick Russo climbing to the top I've never seen this work I've never That's seen this work for Rick and once again, he suffers the Nature Boy curse. It doesn't, it doesn't work this time. And a hot tag to Scott Sanders. And he is a house of fire. That's two clotheslines. Send him spinning, freaking twirling around like a top. Maybe Rick Russo shouldn't have been talking so much. That could have cost him. Oh, what a suplex. Didn't quite get him. Hooked very well, but he got a nice suplex. He got enough of it to keep Russo down. Big all that kick. matters. Exactly. Big kick to the back end again. Oh, right to the back of the head of Rick Russo. Les May trying to get Rick Russo back into it. We got a tag. Here comes Sean. And I don't know how, good, how smart of a move this is. Sean just was in this match for a good long, a good cool minute here. But he's actually looking pretty good so far. I mean, he hadn't been there very long, but he's looking pretty good so far. Another tag into Scott. Another tag, good. Good tags in and out by the syndicate. Irish whip. Oh, my! And the crowd at House of Fire for the syndicate. We got a cover one, two. Kicks out right at two. As you can see, Sean Sanders is still kind of tired. Not looking too good out there. Well, you got to think, Sean was in that match for a while. He's worn out. And Les Main, Rick Russo really needs to get a tag with Les Main. He's been in there. He's been in there for a little while as well. Right. Exactly, Scott. Working on Rick Russo. We still have the main event to happen tonight. The finals for the Christopher Crowe Memorial Cup. This match I'm looking forward to. In the barbed wire casket match. We've got the casket over here to our left. We've got some contraption wrapped up in plastic over here to our right. Russo in the corner, driving the shoulder into Scott Sanders' midsection. Referee trying to get him out of the corner. Oh, nice DDT. He's in the corner. I don't know why he didn't tag in less. This is trying to drag Scott closer to the corner. There's the tag to Les Main. The main event. Uh, thought he was going to go up top. Oh. And that's how you that's how you make an omelet, sir. You split a couple eggs. That's, that's not good. Two counts, says Brock Landers. Oh, Syndicate didn't plan on going. Party. It's like we got a Russian, nice Russian leg sweep by Les Main. Les Main perhaps going to the top rope. Oh, uh, apparently LJ thinks he needs a tag team title. Oh! 
Don't know what uh, don't know what he's doing. Wait a minute. He just threw the belt into the ring to Les. Les looking at it. Is Les going to use it? Les says he don't need it. Les threw it back to LJ. I honestly did not think I'd see that. I wasn't expecting that either. Les may need to take the title from LJ. Reversal. Oh, big boot to Les Main. We got one, two. And Rick Russo breaks the count at two. That could have been it. That was a big boot. I, I'm still kind of shocked Les Main didn't use the title. Oh, Chuck Sanders just kicked the rope right into the grapefruits of the gun show. Good show. At, you got at, a double Irish whip. Oh, double chop. Double elbow on Les Main. We got a pin. One, two. Les two Main count. Slides out. What a match. What a match. A lot of people thought that they were going to come in here, that uh, the franchise players were actually going to come in here and beat the Syndicate for the simple fact that Rick Russo beat them in a handicap match. You would think that, I mean, if, Setting him up. if you look at it just in by the that. world. Setting him up. Oh, big T-bone suplex by Sean Sanders on the Les Main. He's capitalized going for the pin as he, he goes. He rolls over. We got one, two. Rick Russo getting involved again. Rob Landers pushing him out of the ring. Les Main. Les Main and Sean Sanders trying to make their way to their feet. Les Main makes his way to his feet first. Got an Irish whip by Les. Reversal by Sean. He sizes him up. Oh, big boot. Oh, big clothesline by Les Main. Exploding out of the corner. Now, Les Main, you know, whether you like him or not, he has got to capitalize right here. He goes for pin one, two. Shoulder came up. Just barely before the count of three. We got a tag. Russo working over Sean. That's a much needed tag if you're Les Mayne. He was in there for a little while as well. Oh, he's got a nice ankle lock on Sean Sanders. That's not good if you're, that's not good if you're Sean Sanders. He's right in the center of the ring really oh, has kick. nowhere to go. He kicks him again to break the hold. But Rick Russo right there. Got a nice reverse chin lock on him. Oh! Big slap to the chest. And again. Oh, what a knife edge chop by the gun show Rick Russo. Irish whips him from one corner to another. Big splash into the bulldog. And he put, does push-ups. You would think he would try to capitalize on that. LJ once again grabs the tag team title. He's going for another DDT. Thought he was setting up for his finisher old glory, but I guess not. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Doing jumping jacks, perhaps taunting Scott Sanders. Oh, now he's setting up for old glory. Oh, and he hits it. Why didn't he go for the pin? You would think he'd go for the pin. And he tosses the title to Rick Russo. Now Les Main saying he don't need to do that. I don't know what's going on with Les. I don't know what's going on with Les Main. Now look at this. Les and Rick, Les, a big difference here. Les Main has got some oh. tension. And he's got some LJ. tension. Les May should have failed me. Look at Sean. He's going for a lock. One, two, three. We've got me. Les May has to have failed Les May didn't even try to break it up. Syndicate are the new tag team champions. Les May and Rick Russo had a difference in opinion, apparently. And Les May didn't lie.
like the dirty tactics of, of the franchise players. Les made it not when he used the titles and he shoves Rick Russo. The rest of the franchise players comes out to the ring, confronting Les Maine, David Kaiser, and Big John Stone. They pull Les Maine back in the ring as he tries to leave. Syndicate celebrating as the franchise players are still trying to work out the problem. And Big John Stone just blindsides Les Maine. They're all beat. They're beating down Les Maine. Les Maine's supposed to be on their team, you would think. And they're just taking turns, beating on Les Maine. Les Maine was trying to win the titles fair and square. David Kaiser. They're just taking their turn on Les Maine. So saying he's had it. With the brass knuckles. He hits Les May with the brass knuckles. He says Les May is not on his team anymore. I, I don't think there was any doubt after that attack by the rest of the franchise players. Franchise players leaves the stuff with Les Maine. <laughs> Referee is coming out to check on LJ. I've got to know who I'm wrestling with tonight. This is an All-American title match. This is very, very, this concerns me very much. You're supposed to be a manager of champions here, and you're not showing me very much, LJ. You know, I've got a, uh, I've got. I've got way too much on my plate. I've got a battle royal I've got to win tonight. I've got an All-American title match. So I jump, and I'm going to have to call you right back. Kind of important. You shouldn't worry about your match tonight. I know who you got. You know who I'm working with tonight? Oh, 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 yeah, I do. Who well, is it? I feel sorry for you. But what you need to worry about is being in the ring with me and 15 other guys. Worry about my hand being raised at the end of that battle. How is your hand going to be raised when I'm single-handedly going to win that battle royal tonight? <laughs> You and about everybody else think they got the advantage on you. Wait, 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 wait. John, you shouldn't have to worry about the battle royal tonight. Because I'm going to win the battle royal. Me? How are you going to win the battle royal if he says he's going to win the battle royal? I know I'm winning the battle royal. So we're not winning the battle royal. Neither one of you winning the battle royal because I'm winning the battle royal. You're not winning it either. Well, he's boys, not going to win boys, it. Boys, 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 boys. You're looking at the Sooner World Class Wrestling Heavyweight champion. It doesn't matter. You win it, you win it, and you win it. I'm still going to be heavyweight champion. And pray to God that you're not stupid enough to face me. Because when each and whoever does win, and that's going to choke you out, it's not going to matter for who won. You just remember like this. As soon as I get past my mystery opponent tonight, and after I walk through 15 guys in that battle world, you're not I'm not walking through 15 guys. So I'm sorry. You're not walking through this guy. I'm going out with stars and stripes. It's you and I. That's all I've no, got. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't your hands off me. You, you don't have to worry about me and, and stars. Yeah, yeah. Stars you and stripes and me. Yeah. Oh, that stars oh and stripes. you know it's not a problem. Good luck, John. What the hell? I want to know who I'm wrestling tonight. You. <laughs> you. No, no, wait, wait. It's, it's not me. I, I, it's, don't worry, John. You're not wrestling me tonight. I've already beat you one time. You better hope to God it's not you. And I've beaten you more. Trust me, John. I won the one that counts! <laughs> no. This one counts. And it's much, much worse than me. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck, buddy. I'll see you later. This is bull!
And this match is underway for the Sooner World Class Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. He's getting a little bit of love from LJ. And Maniac Mike Klein, and he gets a crowd right behind him. I think Maniac Mike got the, got the better of that exchange. Kevin won't shake LJ's hand. Hey, Mr. Coon, I told him to tell Stone on July 14th his rear end is mine. I don't think LJ liked it. I don't think so, so you guys know. I'm doing this against doctor's orders. Career versus career, Stone's ass is mine. Uh, as uh, as Kevin, Kevin, Ke Kevin had a lot to say is, Oh, Mike just chopping the heck out of David Kaiser. Irish whip into a duck clothesline, duck back elbow. Oh, he connected on that one. Duck that one. Turned him inside out. LJ checking on Kaiser. Manak Mike holding the ropes up and telling Kaiser to get back in there. I don't think Kaiser was any part of it. David Kaiser trying to get back in the ring. Man, <laughs> Kaiser says, screw this, grabs his stuff and says he's leaving. Guess you don't want the title too bad. Uh, Mike says, no! Chops Chop. him again. And again. Oh, jeez. He's lighting him up. We got an Irish whip. Nice. Nice hip toss by Maniac Mike. Maniac Mike's been in complete control of this match from the start. Oh, nice reversal. I guess I spoke a little too soon. Nice arm drag by Kaiser. Ducks the clothesline, and an arm track by Maniac Mike. Fans firmly behind Maniac Mike. Nice calling elbow tie up into a nice arm reach. And he's got he's got it locked high as you can see and then he goes right to work on that left shoulder Kaiser. Big kick to the ribs. Don't forget we still have the, the final match for the Christopher Crow Memorial Cup tournament. Match I've been looking forward to. I don't know about you. Oh, I've, I've been, been looking, looking forward, forward to this you. match for a long time since the tournament started. No matter who it was going to be, right, Kaiser, it would be a good match. Kaiser raking the eyes of the heavyweight champion. Backs him up. Oh! Kaiser with some chops of his own with the chalk. Back up Mike in the corner. Charlie breaks it up. Working him down. Kaiser breaks at five, at four. You know, I can't say anything bad. He's doing what he's supposed to. Oh! Big shot by LJ. Big kick by Kaiser. Absolutely. Nice snapmare. Big oh, kick to the back. Big kick right to the spine of Maniac Mike. Oh, big boot to the head. Goes for a pin. One. Oh, 
Big right by David off. Kaiser. Teeing off on the champion choke. He's at two, three, four. Boy, I tell you what. <laughs> Crazy Charlie lets you hear him count. There's no doubt when he starts counting. I think counting. they heard him in Edmond. That's possible. Got it. Got a nice side headlock. Crazy Charlie right on top of it. Oh, just helping him cinch that move in even better. As as the ring rat kid trying to get trying to get him behind, get everybody behind Maniac Mike here. Maniac Mike trying to fight out of it. He's got elbow and another one. That's three. Oh, but Kaiser says no and starts working over him again. Very smart by Kaiser. Absolutely, take nothing away from Kaiser. He noticed oh! Mike was building some oh. momentum and he had to cut him down. Did a very good job of doing that as well. He is lighting Mike up. Oh, he's wasting too much time as Kaiser. And there's your proof. Oh, up and over and down to the side. Maniac Mike needs to take a little, perhaps take a little breather, but he's coming back out after him. Drives his head onto the apron. Wow, I'm just sorry. I've been pretty busy tonight. Oh, throws him right into the ring post. Oh! Mike just crushed himself right on the ring post. Right in the grapefruits. Not good if you're Mike. Oh, wow! Doing severe damage to that ankle. Another big kick. He's got it sitting on that ring post outside the ring. Drives his ankle into it. Trying to wrap that ankle around the ring post. He's teeing off. Hey, you keep Mike off his feet. He can't hit that triple threat. It's a big, it's a big asset when you gotta when you gotta hit that triple threat suplex. It's, it's a big asset. You gotta have your feet. Kevin James Sanchez asking OJ how's his chin feel because he's over here taunting Maniac Mike. Oh, uh, Kaiser doing the smart thing, working on that ankle of Maniac Mike. He's wrenching back on that ankle of Mike. Not good for Maniac Mike. You need to get to a rope, break, break the hole somehow. And a kick to the ankle by Kaiser. Kaiser dragging him over to the corner. Oh, and trying to hyperextend that ankle. And there goes Kaiser. He's a little closer to Tebow's weight. Yeah, yeah, right around that. Yeah. Once again, just going to work right on the ankle of the champion. He says he's going to break his ankle. I wouldn't be surprised if he already hasn't. David Kaiser still working on that ankle. And he props himself up in the corner. Kaiser taking a break while LJ cheers for him. David Kaiser, smart, goes back to work on that ankle. He's got him in an ankle lock. Telling Maniac Mike to Try tap. To get Mike to tap. He rolls over and kicks him out of it. Maniac Mike needs to, needs to mount some kind of offense here. He's been on the defensive for quite a while he since really Kaiser's has. been working on that ankle. And then again, Kaiser goes right back to work at that ankle. Kaiser's not a former multi-time tag champion, former All-American champion, champion, hardcore champion for nothing. I wonder how my foot tastes, right? 
Kevin wants to, wonders how his foot tastes. All he's got to do is go ask LJ because LJ ate it earlier this week. He's eaten his foot a couple times. Kaiser just Kaiser just basically in total made, control. He's in total control of this match. Fans still behind Maniac Mike. Maniac Mike is propped up on the top rope. David Kaiser going to work on him. Perhaps setting up for a super flex. It's not look good if you're Maniac Mike. He's trying to get Maniac Mike up, but he can't. Maniac Mike's blocking it. A big hit by my Mike. Trying to knock Kaiser off. Headbutt by Maniac Mike. It's not good if you got a bad ankle. Mike going up to the top rope with a bad ankle and all his feet driving elbow. Go for the cover. Kicks out at two, does David Kaiser. Larry. David Kaiser. Both men trying to make their way to their feet. Big right by Kaiser and another by Mike. Exchanging blows in the middle of the ring. Big suplex by Mike. Going for the cover. And David Kaiser kicks out at two. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta like the resiliency of David Kaiser. He's not giving up. There's no quit in either one of these men. He's going for the triple threat. He's going for the triple threat. There's one. The roll of the hips. He turns him. Goes for the belly to back. That's two. And that's three. Maniac Mike feeling the pain of that ankle, but he was still able to get off the three suplexes. He's still holding it though. Oh, he's got him in a sleeper. It's not good for David Kaiser. He's in the middle of the ring with nowhere to go. Oh, he steps on the foot. Picks him up. Oh! That could be it. I don't know why you wouldn't capitalize if you're David Kaiser, but he goes for the ankle lock instead. Trying to go for the rope. rope. David Kaiser drags him back. Maniac Mike in the center of the ring with nowhere to go. I'll be right back. I gotta go check this out. There is a time limit on these matches. That is right, because every match is has a time limit on it. <laughs> Maniac Mike retains the championship after a time limit draw. It looked like David Geyser may, may have had the champ where he wanted him. He had him in an ankle lock in the center of the ring. Mike had nowhere to go and the time limit expired.